let me quickly show you how to edit and modify ideogram prompts so you can make your designs much more unique to you. See, what most people are doing is coming over to ideogram, finding a prompt that they like, like this, and then they're directly copying it and generating images from that prompt. But it literally takes seconds to mix this up so you get a brand new design. So let me go ahead and show you how. Now how every single prompt that you can find over on Ideogram is interchangeable and you can change those prompts within seconds. Now these are all the designs on my public view. If you want to come and check these out then I will leave a link down in the description and there will also be a link from my little freebie just here which is also 100 Ideogram prompts where you get 50 t-shirt prompts and also 50 stickers. Now back to prompting just here. Every single prompt is interchangeable. So you don't really want to come into Ideogram, come onto a prompt that you like, and then just copy this directly and generate from there. You want to start changing things up. So with this one, this is a really nice design, but what you can do is change out the quote just here, if it's a quote design, you can also change out the color palette as well. So right here, it's a sunset orange, purples and blues. So we can completely change that up. And you can also change out objects as well. There's so much that you can do with an ideogram prompt to make it more unique. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, this is a quote design, so we're going to need a quote. Now, there's lots of different ways that you can get quotes, but if you are going to use quotes, always make sure to do your due diligence and check for trademarks. Now, one of the ways that you can get quotes is by using Kittle. You can also use ChatGPT. Now, if we use Kittle, we can come into Kittle, come up to Tools, come to the AI Quote Generator, and it's going to bring you to this page. Now, let's click on Generate Quotes. We have lots that we can choose from. If there's not one, or if there's not the one that you want just here, we can also type in what we want just here. Now for this example, this is a summer design. So we're going to type in summer. We're then going to click continue. We can choose between funny, inspirational, motivational, and a few more. Let's go with funny. We're going to keep it on two to four words, and then we're going to click generate quote. Now this quote generator does use your Kittle credits and only one per generation. Now, we have our quotes just here, so let's go ahead and take one of these. Let's go with this sun-kissed vibes. So we're going to copy that, we're going to come back over to Ideogram, and then we're going to switch out this quote for our new quote, just like that. Then we can also play around with colours. Now, because this has a sunset in the background, we're going to keep the orange, but we can do dusky purples, we can change that out. Let's just put pinks, and let's put yellows as well, like so. Now we've changed out the quote to our own and we've changed out some colors. So now let's do magic prompt on. We're going to do a one by one. Let's put this on public so it goes into my public view. Let's click on illustration. We already have that at the end of this. So let's take that out. And now let's click generate to see what we get. And there we go. Now this one's looking really good. But that's how you can easily modify and edit the prompts in Ideogram. Now let's go ahead and choose another one. And let's come over to my liked designs. Now let's click on this one. This is another summer design just here. Let's add the prompt up here. Let's come over to Kittle and let's choose a different one. So let's go with summertime fine. We're going to take that, we're going to come back over to Ideogram just here, and we're going to change out this quote. Now, let's see what else we can change out. So it says in bold yellow and orange letters. So let's change out the bold yellow for bold pink and blue letters. The text is framed in a red circle. So in fact, let's just change out that bit so we can have in bold, pink letters. Then the text is framed in a blue circle with a sun 
and two palm trees. Now let's click on Magic Prompt. Let's click on Illustration. Let's just take these two out. It says Illustration and Typography. So we could put Typography there as well. Then let's also put this in Public View and click Generate. Now let's give this a few seconds to see what we get. And there we go. So out of these, I really like this one. It's spelt correctly as well. Summertime fine. So now if we go back to the other one, which was this, Sunkissed Vibes, this looks really good. This was the original. We can see that it is different, not as different as I'd like. So what I probably would do is play around with the colors a lot more, maybe add a few things or take things out. Remember, you want to use the prompts as a base for new designs, never just copy and paste. But that's that one. So that's the newer version. That's the original. To be honest, out of these, I actually quite like the newer one. Then if we come over to here, this is the original design, really nice. This isn't one of mine. This is just a design of someone else's, which I liked. And then if we take a look at the newer version, it looks pretty good. But that's just how easy it is to modify and edit ideogram prompts. Now, what you can do as well is come over to the community like this. You can scroll through one day, one week, one month, three months for the top designs. Then you can scroll through these. And if you like a design like this one, we can simply heart that design. Then if we come over to our own profile and clicked on liked, you're going to see all of the designs that you've liked. So what you can do is just build out a huge catalog of other people's designs, and then you always have prompts that you can edit and modify and make your own. Now, again, I've actually been creating in my spare time lots of different prompts for my public profile. So we have some t-shirt designs just here. And remember, all these are interchangeable. We also have some single graphics like these, which would be great for stickers and just a whole lot of designs, as you can see. So if you haven't already, come through and follow me, because again, in my spare time, I am going to be creating designs and prompts just for my public view. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.